Hello friends, welcome back. So let's move to the next. Now we will see how we can add a custom rewrite rules. Okay, and how we can do this. So let me just give you some examples here. Um, okay, so here in the below, I have created added uh, another function called MLB rewrite rules, and I have hooked that function on the init hook again. So we also need to add custom rewrite rules on the init hook okay so here uh, let me just give you some exam i will i will come back on this later okay you, uh, in our example of the rewrite endpoint and the rewrite tag so let me just give you an example of the custom rewrite or how we can add this one so for example uh, if you remember like uh, if you know that uh, when we want to add uh, like the site verifications file, for example, Google site verification. So either uh, there are, I think, two ways. One is the using the meta tag, okay, and using the HTML file, which is like HTML file you can uh, add it on your uh, site's root folder and which can be accessible through your domain and then whatever the HTML file, okay. So like, uh, like, as a uh, like uh, and this is just an example i this is the you can also like if you have hosting and uh, ho uh, ho access of your server then you can add this but what are like we can also do that dynamically on the fly like we don't have to add this html file there or if you are using any plugins like yoast seo or jetpack then you can you can do they provide the functionality where you can add that uh, code of the Google site verification and they will add the meta tags. Okay, but also if you if you're not using that plugin, then how you can do? Um, so I have like, I'm just taking an example. So for example, there is uh, this HTML file needed. Okay, so third party will access this, you hit this URL to see whether your site is valid or not, to, ver to validate your site or domain and this URL will respond to a particular code which needed by the third party uh, site services. Okay, so what I have did is I have used add rewrite tool function where we have to pass uh, two parameter. One is regex, then query, and then after. Okay, whether you want to add a bottom uh, or like at the top. So I, I want to keep it uh, like I haven't passed a bottom. So if I pass here, then it will, if I pass top, then it will move to the upper of the uh, at the top of the rewrite rules all the rewrite rules but i think this is not required right now because this is very unique um like url and it, it won't be conflict with any other rules okay so here instead of the regex i have passed simple string because there is no any other custom uh url parts i don't want to match here because it's very simple html file so that's why i have added simple html file name and then index.php and then i have added this xyz site verify query words which which has a value true so why this needed so this query where because like a uh, wordpress will okay whenever the, this request came th based on this rewrite rule uh wordpress will set this query where and we have to use this query where just to identify whether this request is to xyz site verification.html request or not okay and to vary and also like like if we have passed it here then it doesn't mean that it won't be uh, validated or it will be verified so for example let me just disable this for now uh okay so i am go back i will go back to here i have to save the changes okay to flush the permalink structure and then i will uh add, call this uh xyz xyz site verification.html you can see it's not working okay uh, because um, like in the code base i have added a code base on a parse request and i am checking whether if the wp class object have a query where xyz site verify or not and if its value is true then i will add this echo uh, where your site verification code will be here and we are just exit exit because we we just want to output our uh, uh, verification code nothing else and i i am doing this on a parse request because parse request method of this wp class will be executed so if i go to wp class and if you can see uh, here this parse request okay so in in one of the previous video i have gone i have give audio about parse request which will uh parse your request and it will match the rewrite rules and then it will set the query version and everything but but currently 
um, this query where's uh, variable uh, add a public property will not have any this one because we have to vary, validate it. It will only uh, set the query where's uh, which are the valid. So if I go here, let me just uncomment this one and then uh, let me just comment this and I want to, want to print a WP class. Okay. So if I go here and refresh this one, so you can see the match rule is XYZ HTML. Okay. And this is the match query. Okay. But in the query where there is no uh, XYZ site verify query where here because we haven't white listed. So we, we have to do that. So what, how we can do this? The, there is a uh, filter called query where's. Okay. So I am, uh, I have uncommented this code now. So this query verse, uh, filter applied from this parse request method. So if you go uh, at the top, um, here it should be, no, no, just a minute. It will be at the, uh, yeah, here, this one, this query verse. Okay. So here this uh, public query verse and this query verse will be uh, filtered. And here we can filter or we can add our custom query verse too, which will be used, which will be set into the WP class object. Okay. So now if we go here and refresh this page, now you can see the site verification code here because, uh, like, uh, on a parse request action, uh, I have registered a one callback function and I'm checking whether this, uh, query where have been set. And if its value is true, because we have passed the true value here, yeah, which is as a string, not a like binary, uh, sorry, Boolean. Okay. So that's why I'm just checking with a string. And if it's there, then I'm just echoing and doing the exit. And now whenever the third party services uh, access this, then it will simply uh, add this code here. Okay. And we, so similarly, we can generate any kind of uh, custom URL structure. And we can based on that URL, whatever um, output we want to display in the front end, we can do that using this add rewrite rule. Okay. So now since this is uh, like, so how this is where you can add a uh, query where, and if you like, if you're, uh, for example, there is a regex and it will regex, uh, there is a custom URL with the regex and it's conflicting with other rules, then you can maybe just call the pass uh, top here. And still, if it's, uh, and this will, for example, let's say your uh, rewrite will have added at the top, but any other third party plug is also adding a, like a similar custom rule, which conflicting with your rule and it, their code have been executed after your code then. And if they also adding or passing this top uh, argument, then your, uh, this custom rewrite will be below that URL. So in that case, you, you can use the rewrite tools add a, a filter where you can change the like uh, position okay but you have to execute that filter or either you can uh, like you can execute that filter at the higher low, low higher priority which will be executed later or you can increase the callback uh, priority of your callback function on the ini2 okay so that your callback function executed after that uh, plugin's code base okay so this way you can uh, you can uh, like resolve the conflicts for example Okay, so this is all about uh, the custom rewrite rules. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.